हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील सोनीग्रा एंड टुडे इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट चैप्टर टाइटल डेज इंट्रोडक्शन एंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स फॉर टुडेज प्रेजेंटेशन आर टू सोल्व द एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एंड टू अंडरस्टैंड द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स we will solve some examples related to this first chapter and we will discuss where these law is applicable in engineering field now first example based on the first law of thermodynamics and the data is given like this a cycle consists of four processes and heat transfer during process where plus 74 kJ minus 184 kJ minus 31 kJ and Plus fourteen point two kilojoule. Calculate net work done on the cycle. So in this problem, the system is given like this. This is the system, and the heat transfer is positive. First is plus seventy four kilojoule. It means the heat is added to the system. Then second is min minus eighteen four eighteen point four kilojoule. As it is negative, the heat is rejected as represented over here. Third is minus thirty one kilojoule. so that is also rejected heat and plus 14.2 kJ means heat is added to the system so this is the given data and in this data we have to find out net work done on the cycle so for that this is the solution according to first law integration of dq is equal to integration of dw that means basic summation of heat transfer q is equal to basic summation of work done according to this law so integration of dw is equal to plus 74 kJ which is given that is heat added to the system minus 18.4 kJ because it is rejected from the system minus 31 kJ rejected from the system and plus 14.2 added to the system so basic summation of this plus 74 minus 18.4 minus 31 and plus 14.2 is equal to 38.8 kJ and it is a positive so work done is positive hence the work done is by the system if it is negative it means that work is done on the system so system consumes the work if it is negative and here w is positive it means that the net work is done by the system and this is the answer of this given problem now second example in a compression process 6 kJ of mechanical work is supplied to 10 kg of working substance the heat rejected to the cooling jacket is 1400 joule calculate the change in specific energy so here compression process is given and 6 kJ of work is supplied to the system hence it is given to the system work is done on the system this is the given data and this is the solution so work is done on the system hence w is negative so w is equal to minus 6000 joule or 6 kJ then suppose this is the system work is done on the system so it could be represented by this w is equal to 6000 kJ to the system then q is given as minus is rejected in the cooling jacket hence it is negative q is equal to minus 1400 joule as heat is rejected it could be represented like this q is equal to 1400 joule and we have to find out change in specific energy means delta u that we have to find out now according to the first law we can represent this given data like this this is the system 6000 joule work is done on the system and 1400 joule heat is rejected to the cooling jacket we have to find out change in internal energy so for this according to first law q is equal to w plus delta u that we know and put the values of all these entities q is equal to minus 1400 joule and w is equal to 6000 joule plus delta u so basic summation will give us delta u is equal to 4600 joule or 4.6 kJ that is first answer now we have to find out the specific internal energy change so the equation for that change in specific internal energy 
is equal to change in internal energy divided by its mass. So, change in internal energy is 46,000, 4600 joule divided by mass is 10 kilogram. So, 4600 divided by 10 that gives us 460 joule per kilogram. So, that is change in specific internal energy 460 joules per kilogram and answer of this given problem. Now, some animated solved examples based on first law applied to constant volume. Problem statement. Consider a tank which is a closed system of constant volume. 1 kg gas is confined in this tank. Initial pressure and volume of the gas are 5 bar and 0 0.18 cubic meter. When heat energy of 80 kilojoule is supplied to the system, the final temperature of the gas becomes 410.15 Kelvin. Assume R equals 300 Newton meter per kg Kelvin. Here we have to determine work done, change in internal energy and specific heat at constant volume. Let's try to solve this problem. First, we will calculate the work done. Since the volume of the system is constant, the displacement work is zero. Therefore, work done is equal to zero. Now, we will find the change in internal energy. According to first law of thermodynamics, Q minus W equals delta U. Thus, change in internal energy is calculated to be 80 kilojoule. Next, we will calculate the specific heat at constant volume. It is assumed as P1 into V1 equals MR into P1. Let's substitute the respective values to find the rise in initial temperature. Thus, rise in temperature delta T is calculated as 110.15 Kelvin. Therefore, specific heat at constant volume is given as delta U upon delta T which is equal to 0 0.727 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So, that is regarding constant volume process. Now, second example for the gauge pressure. Problem statement. In a laboratory, a student is performing an experiment. He has a tube which contains oil of 0 0.75 specific gravity up to a depth of 2 meter. Here, he has to determine the gauge pressure at the bottom of the tube. Solution First, we will gather what is known to us. Now, we will calculate the density of oil, rho 0. It is given as rho 0 is equal to specific gravity of oil into density of water. Therefore, density of oil is equal to 750 kg per meter cube. Next, the gauge pressure is equal to rho 0 into G into H. Thus, the gauge pressure at the bottom of the tube comes out to be 14715 Pascal. The second example, next example based on the first law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics. Problem statement. A spring fitted in a piston cylinder arrangement exerts a constant force of 2.25 kN on a piston with a diameter of 17 cm. The cylinder initially contains 0.045 kg of gas 
occupying 0.014 meter cube volume and is at 30 degrees Celsius. The surrounding pressure is 1.033 bar. Heat is transferred to the gas in the cylinder till its volume and temperature both are doubled. For such a system, find out the following. 1. An increase of stored energy in the spring. 2. Change in enthalpy, delta H. Change in internal energy, delta U. Heat transferred, Q. And work done. And 3. Work transfer on surroundings. Take specific heat at constant pressure Cp of gas equals to 1 kilojoules per kilograms Kelvin and specific heat at constant volume Cv of gas equals to 0 0.7 kilojoules per kilograms Kelvin. Solution First, let us consider x1 as the displacement of piston from top to the current position. Solve the following equation. Substitute all the given values. Thus we get x1 is equal to as it is given that the volume is doubled after expansion of gas, the piston displacement from top is the energy stored by the spring is calculated as the product of force and the change in length. Therefore, we get energy stored is equal to as the spring exerts a constant force, thus the expansion process is at a constant pressure. Therefore, P is equal to force upon area. Thus, here heat supplied that is Q is equal to change in enthalpy that is delta H. Hence, we obtain Q is equal to delta H is equal to. Now, determine the change in internal energy. Therefore, we obtain delta U equals to. First, calculate the area of the piston. Simplify this equation. We get area is equal to. Here, work done by the gas is to resist the spring force and the force due to the surrounding pressure. Therefore, evaluate the total resistance of the piston, that is R. We get R is equal to. Now, calculate the total work done which is evaluated as W is equal to resistance into displacement. Thus, W is equal to solve the following equation. Therefore, we obtain W1 that is work transfer to surroundings equal to. So, now next problem is based on how to find out work done by the system in the thermodynamics. Work done by system. Problem statement. A piston and cylinder machine containing a fluid system has a stirring device. The piston is frictionless and it is held down against the fluid due to atmospheric pressure of 101.3 kPa. The stirring device is turned 9500 revolutions with an average torque of 1.25 mn against the fluid. Meanwhile, the piston of 0.65 diameter moves out 0.6 meter. Calculate the net work transfer for the system. Solution. First of all, let us find out work done for the system by using equation 1. On evaluating, we find that the work, that is, W1 is equal to 
However, this work is negative work done for the system. Therefore, W1 is equal to let us find out work done by the system upon surroundings with the help of equation 2. Whereas atmospheric pressure that is P is equal to 101.3 kPa. Cross sectional area of piston is equal to 0.3318 meter square. L is the distance moved by the piston, that is 0.6 meter. Substitute these values in equation 2. After calculating, we find that work W2 is equal to 20.167 kilojoules. Note that this is positive work. Net work transfer for the system can be calculated by the equation 3. On evaluation, we find that the net work transfer for the system is equal to This way we can find out the net work done by the system. So these are the examples that we have sold. Uh, now next, another example based on first law of thermodynamics. And the data is given like this. A certain quantity of air undergoes a change of state in such a way that 150 kilojoule of heat is transferred to the system. For this change of state, work produced is 120 kilojoule. Calculate the change in its internal energy and assume that the process is non-flow process. So here we have to assume that it is a non-flow process and based on this assumption we have to find out the its change in internal energy. So this is the given data and this is the solution. The given data is like this. W is plus 120 kilojoule as here it is given that work is done by the system W is positive and this is the system and work is done by the system so it should be represented like this W go 